I love that. So this is a roster review for my guild mate, uh, Bob White. So, uh, 56 in arena, 135 in fleet. I'm guessing that's when he hasn't climbed at all since I'm doing this late at night right now like I always do. I need to stop playing in my chair so that quits cracking around so much. So the, uh, let's take a look at characters first real quick. So immediately, one Galactic Legend, Relic 7 with uh, Brain Fart. No other, uh, no other Galactic Legends though. And he is at 5.9 mil. So I'm immediate, my immediate worry is that in Grand Arena, he's gonna be seeing people at this uh, that are, uh, are gonna have two, more than one Galactic Legend. So correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that, Bob. But uh, I'm pretty sure you you're probably seeing people with more than one. But anyway, so then uh, moving on from that though, uh, I noticed immediately when looking and seeing that and seeing your arena team, you're using uh, Revan with Luke and Anakin, uh, Gas and Watt, which is a good team and people use it. But I'm wondering if, uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> there we go. I'm wondering if you know about putting Hermit Yoda in that, uh, in that Watt spot because, uh, Watt is, might be the better one. I think I, I think he is the better one. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but he's, uh, right now you don't have him seven star. I don't think any of us do. So. And if you're like me, you're probably like one or you're probably like two more, uh, two more territory battles to get that, uh, get that done with. So I would suggest trying to put Hermit Yoda in that Watt spot and seeing if that helps you climb a little bit more for right now until you get Watt up. All right. So then looking through and also obviously putting like gas to Relic 7 stuff would probably help, but at that level i don't have experience fighting with galactic legends obviously so i'm not sure uh so when i was looking through immediately i was i was uh thinking that you're not going to have any problems with spreading out like in grand arena how people need a lot of teams you can provide a lot of teams going through here but uh you're just having you might have more problem with the top of it like if somebody comes up and they got a uh kylo ren and a uh sith eternal then you might have a problem with that because there's 2v1 there and i'm not sure how your uh counters are going to be doing without watt up and going yet also i don't see a relic thrawn in here so Counters probably aren't up and going, but all right, let's look. Let's slowly work down the characters and see what teams we see and what sticks out to us. So I see the, what you need for uh, Jedi Master Luke, obviously, but also I'm surprised that I see Darth Revan and uh, Darth Vader at only Relic Three. I would say they they should be at least Relic Five. Darth Vader should be Relic Seven, especially. Uh, I don't know why you don't have him at Relic 7. That's like, that's the first character guy in the game. Well, I guess you've, you've obviously, you're an older accountant. You've been around for a lot longer, probably, or not probably before he got his Zeta. Long before he got his Zeta. But as soon as he got that Zeta, he should have been put to Relic 7. He is just such an amazing character. Uh, also... Darth Malik Relic 4. I would at least put him to Relic 5. Really, all these characters that you have sitting at like Relic 3, Relic 5, or Relic 4, Relic 3 throughout he throughout this uh, Han Solo uh, line here, uh, I would put them all to Relic 5. I know that seems like a big investment with all that gear, but uh, or with all that Relic material, but it would... I'm correct me if I'm wrong in the comments again here, but I'm pretty sure a lot of the time I can hit the crankcore harder than you or just as hard as you. 
at three mil with the uh, few teams I have, and that's because I don't ha I don't leave anybody sitting at low relics uh, anymore. I used to think relic four was the sweet spot to stop because you didn't have to start putting that heavier investment in. But now I'm like, well, if you need it for the rancor, the rancor, then uh, put it to relic five and just bite the bullet on it. So yeah, all these people sitting through here, I would put to relic five. So. Um, I like the Geo Brood up at Relic 3. I like... Because that's not needed for anybody. Um, I like... The fact that I'm seeing... Uh, you are not too far... Other than the obscure characters. Like the main people for Kenobi. Shakti, Grandmaster Yoda. Uh, General Grievous. Um, where was it? Uh, your General Kenobi's already Relic 7, so if you get him Relic 8, you put up uh, Grandmaster Yoda to Relic 8, and then the Shock T, I, I'm not sure, I think she needs to be Relic 5 or 4, it's either 5 or 3. And uh, yeah, you're, you're already looking pretty for Kenobi, and now that I'm rolling through here more, and paying more attention, I'm seeing that you're not too far from Kylo, I don't think. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So. Yeah, yeah, that's. I would. Uh, you're probably pushing for Kylo Ren right now, and then you're going to finish out Supreme Leader Kylo and. Uh, and then go for Kenobi afterward. Or you're probably thinking about that. You might have already had those characters I was pointing out like that because those are great characters and now uh they're kind of they've kind of been good with those requirements so you're just going to be in a sweet position to be able to get him pretty good pretty quick which is nice okay so then uh looking through yeah, so looking through any recommendations character-wise that I would have, I would just say the uh, almost anybody you have relic is worth taking to relic five just to even like this first order tie pilot, he could just be crank or food while somebody else smacks on him. You know, it it just gives you more people to just a more of a kitchen sink to throw at that crank or. And then once we start getting those, uh, then those relic eight materials are going to start coming in and no you know uh i think you were the one talking in chat about how expensive those could be it might have been someone else but uh yeah someone was looking at those and complaining <laughs> and i don't blame them one bit because this game is ridiculous so yeah like uh sith sith empire trooper relic one at least uh, i will give you this benefit okay at least you don't have anybody just sitting at gear 13 Okay, because that's a huge waste. So you know that everyone is at least relic one, which is uh, which is good. You know, you know that. But ugh, I'm guessing. Uh, see, like Sabine Ren being gear twelve, I don't like. But maybe you were using her a long time ago. I was somebody who was able to squeeze by with my uh, all of my Phoenix being like gear nine, gear eight and not having to put too much into them so correct me about that uh galactic legend thing and tell me if you if you are i'm I'm generally curious if you fight more than one galactic legend in your grand arenas or not and uh, my recommendation for who to push for would be to finish to go for kylo supreme leader kylo finish him out and excuse me and then um go for uh, Kenobi after that because you uh, I, you know passive farm the stars for Kenobi and uh, you'll be sitting really pretty on him by the time you get Kylo and everything so maybe maybe they'll announce uh, they'll announce uh, Lord Vader next I don't see them announcing anybody else but maybe they announced him next and you'll be somehow in an even better position by him, for him by the time you finish Kylo so that's really what you want to 
Those are your options on ships. So that's my advice, or on uh, characters. And that's my advice on characters. So then, fleet arena. Use a negotiator. Let's go back to that actually. Negotiator. That start. That's the, my same star, starting lineup. I think that's a lot of people's starting lineup. Um, I'm guessing you know how to use the negotiator fleet and stuff, and I'm not going to give advice on that stuff. I'm just going to look at what capital ships you have and uh, kind of just look over the ships because, honestly, uh, I'm not going to say I hate ships. I don't mind ships, but uh, I don't... I don't put that much into ships, and I know how to use like my negotiator fleet, but I still need to learn how to use the level. And there's, there's a lot I need to learn when it comes to ships, but just glancing over your ships, everything looks sweet here. Let's just keep it as simple as possible there. <laughs> this is probably why you uh, put, of course, yeah, it was the ships. That's why you put... Sabine up to gear 12, and that's why you uh, have Hera gear 12 and whatnot. You were doing that for the ships. See, I'm I've kind of I've thought about that, but I don't think I mean I don't think I'll put them to gear 12. See, my ship uh, people are the Biston's U wing, Biston and uh, Scarif Rebel Pathfinder. I'm thinking I might take them up someday and then have a badass fist in dueling, but we'll have to see how that goes because I'm not one to just chuck a bunch of money at this game. All right, so uh, I can't think of anything else as far as uh, characters or, or progression or anything. Uh, if you guys can think of anything that I could uh, could have gone over to improve the advice that I'm giving or just uh, improve these roster reviews, let me know because I am uh, I'm just going to get better at this as I go. And um, Bob, if you have anything you wanted to point out to me, obviously you could just reach me at any time or you could just comment on the videos and I'll see you. So, all right, guys. Uh, once again, this was the channel you were looking for.